Hi guys, today we're going to make a lovely pork roast with a mango chili chutney. It's the first time firing up the Big Joe. I've got two of these fire starters right here, which we're going to ignite. We are going to let the Big Joe start up slowly. The bottom fan is open, uh, we're going to leave the lid open. This may take about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're going to close the lid and we're going to set the temperature. So here we got this lovely pork rack. We're going to sprinkle on some olive oil, rub that in real nicely. And then I want to carve this fat cap a little bit. Carving this fat cap will help rendering down the fat and it will look lovely in the end. I've got some of this fruity rub from uh, 0815 barbecue. I'll put a link to his videos in the video description. Put a heavy coat on there. Yes, that's it. This is a nice rub, fruity and spicy. We'll let that sit for a bit. Now we're going to place the rib on the spit. We want to go through the center of gravity. I always love to use these. To make sure that the meat is secured. A chunk of apple. One chunk is more than enough for smoking. And we're going to set in these dividers to create the to create the indirect settings. Align this roaster tray so that, that will make for easy cleaning. Set that on the divider. Place in the pork rack. These bones are a bit too long and um, we have to take care of that. It looks like that will do the job. Excellent. Let the jotisserie come up to about 160 degrees Celsius, which is around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, we will be preparing our chutney. Now it's time to start peeling these big boys. Look at how juicy this mango is. So uh, in the meantime, I've set up the classic Joe uh, to a direct heat. I have this cast iron pan right here. And I'm going to heat up some olive oil. That's a great thing. You can place it right into the classic Joe. That's fantastic. We'll test the heat of the pan by dropping in a little bit of onion. And when it starts sizzling like this, then you know it's time to put in all the onions. There you go. Let the onions get soft. Okay, time for the mango to go in. I'm adding about half a cup of apple cider vinegar and half a cup of brown sugar. One lime juice. We will let this simmer for about 30 minutes. We'll slow down the classic a little bit in the heat. You can close the lid and make sure that it doesn't run too hot because otherwise our mango chutney will burn. At the meantime, we're taking a close look at our pork roast. Well, the pork roast is done. I finally pulled it off the grill. Time to cut it. There we go. Wow, that looks amazing. I got some rice here. To me, chutney and rice are friends. Let it sit on here. Look at that. That looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh boy, this looks really good. And you guys, you, you just gotta give this a try. If you like mango, if you like pork, then this is the, the cut to get. It's fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure did, but now it's time to eat for me and my family. See you guys next time. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. See you guys next time. Cheers.